September is going to be a big month for Avatar, not only with the re-release of the original movie, but with all the merchandising dropping, I do believe we'll get a new trailer or a second trailer to Avatar The Way of Water. Avatar Theory here, hope you're doing well and having a fantastic day, and in today's video I want to focus on a series of tweets that was done quite a while ago, on August the 27th I believe, and it was from writer-director Liam O'Donnell. I'm going to read the string of tweets and then basically just comment a few thoughts on it afterwards. The tweet starts, quote, Avatar The Way of Water appears to be the most insanely complicated movie ever made. Holy shit, James Cameron's Digital Day keynote just broke brain. My brain. Just the amount of data they captured. Underwater performance captured with 15 cameras. Two cameras on every actor's face capture. Underwater reference capture for fully CG creatures. Oh yeah, and infrared depth capture to place CG characters in the live action footage. Saw finished scenes including underwater swimming alongside an alien whale and this is without a doubt the editable movie of the decade. I will be able to articulate this better on A4E podcast tomorrow but the virtual production volume panels kind of felt like safe and cushy were a big selling point. Then Cameron comes in with the most intense and uncompromising method possible, reminding me it's all about the artist. Guys, all of the actors including a 7 year old kid and Sigourney in her 60s had to take deep breathing courses so they could hold their breath for 2-3 to three minute underwater takes for the performance capture, same as the camera operators, no scuba, all free diving in a tank together. Also, James Cameron described to us Stephen Lang's new incarnation. I was dubious of them bringing him back, but as always, don't bet against Cameron. New Avatar Quaritch and his conflict and journey sounds effing awesome. Same of the underwater Avatar characters use their tails to swim, so those actors has literal effing jetpacks on them to swim for the motion capture photography. They're not effing around. Also, for my Sigma methods, Cameron said he needs 7.5 hours of sleep and nights and works out daily to set an example of energy and focus on set. End quote. Now there is quite a couple of things to dissect from this, the most important thing is likely Stephen Lang's incarnation or the Avatar Quaritch relationship, you know, the, the bringing him back because when I, like, I felt the same that Liam felt when I heard that Quaritch is coming back, I was kinda thinking, okay, so they're bringing the villain back again to be the villain again in the sequel, much like Terminator 2, but arguably Terminator 2 Judgment Day is one of the best action movies ever made and it's also a James Cameron movie. So, you know, bringing back the, the villain in a different way. Maybe maybe it's going to be the same. You know, there's a lot of us in a, in a small way. You can see a lot of similarities that they might do in Avatar The Way of Water to Terminator 2 Judgment Day with bringing back Arnold Schwarzenegger. I mean, he was the villain in the first movie. So bringing him back for the sequel, you initially thought back in the day that, you know, he was going to be the villain again. But of course, he, he wasn't. So, you know, th there might be similarities to this, bringing uh, Quaritch back, bringing Bringing Stephen Lang back in Avatar The Way of Water. Initially, like I said in for some of my previous theory videos, that maybe he's gonna be, at the end of the day, the hero of the story. Maybe he's gonna be the hero at the end of the day, maybe sacrificing himself in later films to save Jake's family. And then, you know, you see him, you know, having this, you can, you can see him having this sort of conflict in the movie, having this, you know, realization that, you know, he was, he was essentially used by the, by the RDA. He was essentially misused and then he realizes what he that he that he doesn't want to do this anymore because he is going to be an avatar now he has a different connection to Pandora than previously so he has this different thoughts this different emotions the different ideas and maybe that will make him realize it you know this is not what he wants to do and therefore it causes this conflict in the movie that will be very very interesting to see on screen and also where Liam says that some of the underwater characters uses their tails to swim this this is obviously 
the new clan, the Medkaina clan, using their tails to swim. So that'll be very interesting to see how that'll work and how it'll it'll play on screen. I don't think it's going to be exactly like uh, Tails from Sonic, you know, when Tails spin his, his tail, he, he, you know, flies through the air. I don't think it's going to be like visually like that, but you can imagine them just using their tails a little bit, spinning it a little bit at the back, causing this uh, propeller motion for them to to push forward in the in the in the water, almost like a torpedo like motion, just shooting through the water and almost you can almost imagine you can visually imagine it jumping them jumping out of the water like onto onto one of the RDA ships and then you know that's how they how they get on board maybe how they how they attack the RDA or maybe swimming almost like dolphins you know they have this this propeller motion jumping out of the water and then jumping back in and jumping out again you know with the motion of their tails so that's going to be very visually interesting to see definitely something that we that I'm hoping we'll see in the second teaser trailer thinking back to the original to the to the main trailer of the original avatar movie you know before i saw the movie of course you didn't really know much about the movie aside from what the trailers gave you but having seen the movie multiple times and going back and watching the trailer again you can see that the the, the trailer actually gave away the entire movie the, the the plot of the movie and the flow of the movie the whole trailer just go back and watch the original i believe it's about three minutes long trailer of the original avatar movie then you'll see it practically gave away everything ahead of time. I do hope that they don't do this with The Way of Water. I do hope that we don't get a three minute, three and a half minute trailer that essentially just gives us everything because that's going to be quite a bummer. But at the same time, I do want to have a new look at Avatar The Way of Water. And like I said, I do think we'll get a new trailer ahead of the release of the or the re-release of the original Avatar movie. But what do you think about this idea of the, the Metkaina clan using their tails swimming through water and just about the whole thing about Quaritch returning. What do you think about his return? Where do you think his character will end up? Let me know in the comments below and for more Avatar content, have a look at the rest of my channel. Until next time, have a fantastic day and stay safe.